Welcome to this overview of PXF Deep Mask. So here I have a, a deep render coming from Houdini. I can look at it using deep points and I can see my deep point cloud. I can do deep things to it like a deep color correct for example and then convert it to a regular non-deep image using deep to image and comp it with a standard over on top of a background. Everything is fine. Everything's working as expected. Sometimes, however, you might want to get rid of some portion of the image or just keep some area of the image and throw everything else away. We don't have that many uh, tools to do that in Nuke. Uh, we do have a deep crop. So if I turn on a deep crop here, What's happening is that everything inside of the crop box is kept and everything outside is thrown away. And if you look at the uh, deep points, you can see that my point cloud has been decimated. I see a bunch of samples are dead. They're gone. That's good. You can also use deep crop to uh, remove samples based on depth. So if I turn off the uh, bounding box and I turn on Z far and Z near. If you look at it from the side, you can see that before and after some samples are removed from my deep image, depending on how far they are from the camera. So everything from zero to 35 units in front of camera will be removed and everything past 42 units will also be removed. Of course, you can turn on both at the same time. So you can have the uh, near and far uh, clipping planes and you can include the bounding box. So now everything that is inside the box and inside the range from 35 to 42 will be kept and everything else will be thrown away. So that's fine. That's working, but it's not very flexible. For instance, you're limited to a rectangle and you don't have any softness controls. Either the sample is inside the box or it's outside the box and there's no in between, there's no fading out, there's no softness, and there's no graceful transition from in to out. So this is very uh, limited. That's where PXF Deep Mask comes in. So we're gonna replace our deep crop with a PXF Deep Mask from the PXF menu. I'm gonna connect my deep image to my deep input and I'm gonna connect my mask to a roto so I'm going to move that out here and I'm going to connect my mask to a roto that I've prepared. And now everything that's inside the roto will be kept and everything that's outside will be thrown away. But we do have a feather on the edge. So as we go through the feather of the roto, we will lose some opacity on the samples. So if we look at our point, point cloud now, we can see that we lost all the samples that are outside the roto and kept only the samples that are inside the roto. And what's uh, great about Deep Mask is that it comes in as deep and it comes out as deep as well. So notice that my deep image is still deep at the output here and I can still do deep things to it like a deep uh, color correct and that or a deep merge or whatever I need to do. And then I can convert it to regular pixels and do whatever I need to do with it at the end here. So this is very useful because I don't lose the, the, the deep features coming out of deep mask. Not only can you uh, mask, you can also stencil. So if you turn the operation to stencil, then it does the opposite. It punches a hole through your uh, deep image. And if we look at it from the deep point cloud, you can see that all the samples inside the roto have been killed and everything outside of the roto has been kept so that's deep stencil if we look at this and switch it back to a uh, mask notice that the feathering is working so if i have a semi-transparent pixels on my roto then the samples will gracefully fade out as the roto fades out so that's very useful it's much uh, nicer compared to a deep crop you can also mask your uh, samples using depth, just like uh, Deep Crop or another PXF node called PXF Deep Fade. So essentially it is the same interface. So if we look at the interface here, you think of it as the camera being on the left and pointing towards the right. 
when you're in mask mode, the red line represents opacity. So everything from zero to 10 will become fully transparent. No opacity will disappear. Everything from 10 to 20 will progressively became more and more visible. Everything between 20 and 30 will be uh, fully visible. And then from 30 to 40, again, the opacity goes down and at 40 till infinity, then everything else is gone. So this is essentially a PXF deep fade built into the PXF deep mask node. If you switch the mode to uh, stencil, then the curve becomes pretty much reversed. So the red line represents transparency instead of opacity. So that means that if you're in stencil mode, everything from the camera to 10 will be kept. As we move forward, the opacity goes down or transparency goes up. Everything here will be removed. Everything here will start to appear again and everything from 40 to infinity will be kept. So we in stencil mode, we kill what's at the top here. And in mask mode, we ki we keep what's at the, the top here. Here we go. So let's try that. So I'm gonna set my values here depending on my scene to know how far my scene is. I can use a deep sample. So if I look at the stuff that's close to camera, it's about 30, 31, 32 units. And everything that's far is about 44, 45. So we can set that to, let's say, we want uh, to keep the slice between uh, 34 and 36. And we do it a fade out to 38 and a fade in from 32, let's say. So once you have set up your, your values here, you gotta enable limit Z. By default, the depth doesn't affect our samples at all. At all. We gotta enable limit Z. And then you can see that the samples between 34 and 36 are kept and everything in front of 32 and behind 38 is lost. So we can tweak this a little bit. Let's say we want to keep a little bit more and notice that we have a fade out. So our background stuff is fading out into the distance instead of being cut out the way a deep crop would crop. Same thing in front. So if I move this forward a little bit, you can see that we have a transparent transition uh, in the foreground as well. If you want it to behave like a regular deep crop, then you can do something like this. And this will become essentially a deep crop, keeping only what's between 37 and 38. Lastly, we have the mix knob. So this behaves just like any mix knob. So if I lower the mix, I get my original image back. So this is the original image. Uh, this is a half mix between the original and my uh, deep mask. And then I have the deep mask fully enabled here at the end. So that's it. This was the overview of PXF Deep Mask. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.